welcome back. I am not sure if you guys know this or not, but I am actually a speech language pathologist by trade, which means my career is working on language skills, but also speech skills, which is like how words are pronounced, whether they're pronounced right or wrong, and then working to correct that production of the sounds and the words. Today I'm gonna to ask you guys all to stop for a second and say this word, say it out loud. Okay, so you're probably like, why is she trying to do a speech lesson and why is she making me say this word? Um, stick around for episode three of Cultural Differences to find out. Welcome back to Rock Your Own Beauty. What up? Hey guys, thank you. We finally made it to episode three of Cultural, Cultural, Cultural differences. differences. Man, I hope you guys been enjoying it. We've been getting a lot of good feedback from it. Um, we gonna keep giving content. Like we said, just make sure you understand that this is just fun. We're not saying that all white people do certain things and all black people do certain things. It's just differences that we notice within our relationship and you know if you guys see things that you notice in your relationship let us know too we want to know the differences that you guys are facing as well this episode i know you're probably curious to why my wife had the word on the screen well some of you guys may pronounce that word as sword like me and others sword the w is silent it's just sword not it's, it's a sword no it's a sword so it's a really funny story of how we found this cultural difference out um it was a few years back when the oj simpson like what is that like when they did the episode about it the movie about it so the american american something it was the oj simpson story and we started watching it and we were kind of talking about just um, how our views had changed from like when we were kids until we got older um, and just how the media and all that had really um, warped how we saw that case. Granted, we were pretty young when it happened, but- I was real young. Okay, I was also young. I'm a tad bit older than him. <laughs> tad, tad. He had his family over and we were all talking about just how the racial undertones of that court case really led to um, a lot of feelings and a lot of emotions. And Brian was kind of talking about how his views had changed on it. And he was like, yeah, I mean, watching that made me think that maybe like OJ Simpson was guilty. And his dad was like, OJ didn't do it. This is what he thought happened, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> He said there were some people from China who were mad about a bad cocaine deal and came in and sliced them up with a sword. So the whole thing, people from China, cocaine deal, like that wasn't even the thing that shocked me the most. It was the fact that he said they sliced her up with a sword. She did. She's like, <laughs> What? With the what? So I asked him to say it again, because I thought maybe he just like tripped over his words, and he again was like, you know, a sword. And I was like, I don't know. And so then he's like, you know, a long, long, powerful knife. And I was like, a sword? And he's like, yeah, a sword. So I'm looking around, and I'm just like, I don't understand. Like, I never knew he had this speech problem. So I was like, what, what do you call that? I said a sword. Sword. Then My I asked, sister. 
sister. She brother. said a sword. My brother said sword. a sword. Mom. A sword. But then brother-in-law, he said sword. I need to note right now he is white, so that did not help. So then I was thinking, I'm like, wait, I've been taught in school that there are differences. There's dialects. So for instance, when I'm giving a test, if it is a student who is um, black, then they might use F for TH, and that's not a misproduction. It's just a difference. So I'm like, I've never been taught about sword. So the next day I went to school, and I work in a really diverse school district, and I just put a picture of one up on the board, and I was like, say it, say it, say it, and it legitimately was like, sword, 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 and I'm like, <laughs> I mean, 100%, guys, 100%. So I came home, and I was just like, baby, you're never going to believe this. Every black child at my school said sword, and every white kid said sword. I feel like I uncovered some good information. Yeah. I think you cracked the case. I cracked the case. <laughs> so, in our experience, Caucasians say sword. African Americans say sword. What do you say? Since this is going to be a shorter episode, um, we usually do Settlers Reveal a couple days later. This time we're going to include it in this because we're only asking her to pronounce one word so we're gonna bring Sayla in here Sayla boo come here, here. <whistles> all right get your seat sweet thing okay so first you guys might have noticed Sayla grew a little facial hair um quarantine has been tough no just kidding uh she has a beard on because her and her dad were making a really cute tiktok video so if you want to check it out um we're rock your own beauty on tiktok and they did a fun little girl dad thing so she's got a beard right now and i think she can rock it okay. do we look like twins you guys just rocking your own beauty okay so sayla i'm going to show you a picture of an object okay and i just want you to say the word there's no wrong there's you just say it however you want to say it, okay? Um, what? You're just going to say a word, okay? What is that? Um, sword! She said sword, my friends, just like her mama! <laughs> what did you say? Sword. He calls it a sword. But is he saying it how we say it? That's not the right way. You say sword. Mm. Yeah. Well, well I kind of do say it. I said sword. Yeah, you heard it sword. first here. Finally, mom got a win. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining us for episode three of Cultural Differences. Um, we will have an ex another one out next Wednesday. Hey, uh, Coach, we tell them what's coming up on Saturday. Uh, Saturday, we're going to do a challenge. Sayla is challenging me and her mom to see who knows her Sailor better. better. So the loser of this challenge is going to have to do some pretty gross and disgusting things and eat some stuff we don't want to eat. So if you guys want to laugh on Saturday, mm -hmm. make sure you tune in and see that video that we're going to drop. Yeah, so thank you guys again for following us on this journey. Please subscribe to our channel, like this video, share this video, get everyone you know to see it and subscribe. Um, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. And don't forget what's the most important thing. Rock your own beauty. Rock your own beauty. Bye, guys. Rock your own beauty. God bless you guys. Cultural differences, ooh yeah. Cultural differences, ooh yeah.